I was asked on the Zerobio Discord how I would model this toggle switch which goes from a rectangle to a circle. And I'm not sure if they wanted the rest of this. So I thought, what I thought I would do is I would show you how I would do this. And maybe this part, this part, and this part, and the rest of it's pretty straightforward. So uh, there's more than one way to do these things, but I would do this like this. I'm gonna bring in a cube. And I'm gonna scale it in the Y till I get the sort of approximate thickness that I would want. And I'm gonna scale that a bit more in the Z. So get the length that you want as well. And I'm gonna drop an edge loop in here. And I'm gonna press S to scale it. And I'm scaling it, I guess, in pretty much every direction. So I'll scale it out in the X a bit. Maybe a little bit less than that and scale it also in the Y. Sort of an equal amount. We'll start with that anyhow. Okay, so I would do that. I'm going to drop an edge loop in, in the middle there. And I'm going to select this edge right at the bottom there. And I'm going to scale that in the Y. So it's starting to sort of approximate a circle. And I'm going to grab these two edges here and scale them in the X a little bit. So we got a little bit of a circle at the bottom there. And we'll make that more of a circle very soon. I might bring these in a little bit more. Like that. Okay. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bevel these edges. All right, control B, pull. And I'll do something like three, like that. And I'll take this one and also bevel. It's a nice big bevel to sort of round it off. And we could, we could adjust that and decide if we like that later. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to inset like that and then I'm going to extrude down maybe a little bit and then I'm going to extrude down a little bit more. I think I'll get rid of those faces and take this edge and this edge and we'll bevel those as well like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the bottom and I'm going to select these bottom faces and right click and this is where you use loop tools. Now loop tools is an add-on that comes with Blender in case you don't have it you just go to preferences and on add add-ons and choose search for loop tools and make sure that's activated and then you will have it and in my version of blender i get to it by right clicking i'm not sure in yours but right click and choose circle okay now it's flared out i'm going to scale that down a little bit a little bit more out all right then i'm going to hide inset and pull in a little ways look from the front and extrude and it looks like it comes down and it, it goes in a little bit here okay so i'm going to delete those bottom faces so i've got this shape so far now i'm going to select that edge and bevel control b control 2 to add two subdivisions and you've got the basic shape of this thing now you may decide that you want to come in here and select these edges and scale them in the Y a little bit maybe scale them in the X a little bit you know just to touch it up and get the shape that you that you really want on this thing okay so that's the basic thing and from there you can you know edit this if you want to go into wireframe and box select all this stuff say okay I want to pull it up a little bit maybe I want to scale it out a little bit you know whatever whatever you need to do so you have that now this stuff here I would do you know in substance painter or with normal maps or something like that okay one thing I think I'll do as well I might narrow this a little bit like that I might take all of this and just scale it in a little just to you know change the shape a little bit all right, so that's what we have there. It does come out and it rounds out a little bit on the sides. And I think that's what, what this would do as well. It's, it's wider here than it is at the top anyhow. So once you have that, the rest is, is very simple. I'm going to bring in a circle and I'm only going to go for 16 vertices. 15, yeah, let's go for 16. And I'm going to bring it down here 
and just look it's a little little bit wider than the, okay I'll, I'll start with I'll start with that and I'm going to extrude it down a ways to make this piece and I'll take this E and S and I'll come in I think I'll come in like this and then I'm going to come in some more but I'm going to pull it down and I think I'm going to come in like that I'm not sure exactly what this does but I'm going to do something like that and then I'm going to grab these edges and bevel them just a little bit just with three and maybe I'll bevel here and this one and I'll make it a little bit longer and then I'm just going to add a bunch of edge loops like this and control B roll back so I just have the spaces like that E and alt S and uh, push okay if I put on control 1 or control 2 I'll get this effect okay now I'll take this and slide it up a little bit and then come back to this guy grab grab that maybe widen it out just a little bit pull it down and then this whole thing I will scale shift Z maybe and just tuck it in a bit more so it looks like that all right now we need that hexagonal bolt or whatever so we'll bring in a circle we'll make it six vertices pull it down scale it out have to make a face extrude it up it's not too thick so we'll do something like that with the edges selected in uh, number two edge selection I'll control B and pull and I'm gonna have three just like that you can shade smooth and if the shading looks a little funny you can add weighted normal and normals auto smooth and that'll clear that up and then the last piece I'm going to do is this one here the different ways to do this but I think the way I'll do it for now is I will bring in a circle I'll make it 64 vertices you can do as many as you want really I'll bring that down scale it out okay go one for vertex selection and then I'm going to go to select check or deselect that will select every other one and then s but don't pull it in too much just a little bit like that I'll try that it's a little trial and error and then i can extrude it up like this give it almost an equal height as that select the whole thing e and alt s and push to bring it in I'm going to delete those faces and select the whole thing and just scale it in so that stuff's inside. So we'll have this and then I'm going to add a bevel. And I'm going to go for 3 and 0 0.01. We'll have this effect. And then you can decide if you want to, instead of that, if you want to bevel it like this, I probably would in shade smooth. And now we need that weighted normal. And normals auto smooth. Let's make sure all the polys are facing the right way. All right, and now I'll take this. I'll scale it out just a little bit, like that. Maybe I'll take this one, scale it in a little bit. I'm going to switch over to a matte cap. Have a look at this. Make sure all my polys are facing the right way. And they are and then you know from there you can you can touch this up in any way you like um, perhaps the whole thing needs to come up a little bit like this and you've got what you need maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger to fit in there okay and of course you know you don't have to leave that open you can fill this in uh, you can make a face or you can grid fill let's try grid fill just for the fun just for the fun of it and see maybe that'll do nicer all right and again you know you can you can adjust the position of these edges if you need to move them up or down just go gg twice gg and that will slide it along its edges if you need that a bit sharper gg you know you can you can do that kind of a thing that's a little bit sharp in my opinion so it's up to you so that's one way that you could create this uh, style of toggle switch